In today's tutorial, I will show you how we can split shapes into smaller shapes. So let's start by drawing a shape using the built-in shape tool here on the left. I will draw a double star. Holding shift to maintain proportions. I don't need any outline color uh, for the main color. I can pick it here from the wheel. All right, how many points do we need? I can adjust that at the top as well. Inner and outer radius. All right, I got my shape here. Now, how can I split it if I need just piece of the shape? One way of doing that is to grab a knife tool. Knife tool is here on the left, look just like a knife. Click on that. And you must draw across the shape so from one side to another and release your mouse and now our shape is split by the knife tool i can split it again only this part again knife tool i can split it by drawing this cutting line across you must pop on another side release your mouse and here it is the only problem with that is that you need to manually control the knife. So let's explore other options. I will just undo quickly. All right. Now I'm going to add a shape to cut through this shape. So I can, for example, use a rectangular shape like that. I will give it a blue color so we can see it. I can place it around. And I can cut out this area. So select both shapes, head to the top and you subtract. So it's minus the top shape minus the bottom shape. We end up with this. We got the big hole here in the middle of the shape. This is the great technique if you need like part of the shape precisely. So let's say I need only one fourth of the shape you can snap another shape on the top perfectly. Select both. i holding shift to select both, or you can select both layers in the layer panel of shift. Then I can do subtract if you want to cut the hole, but you can also use intersect. So we'll get this only intersecting part between two shapes, and you will end up with something like this. In addition, we can use a child parent relationships. So if I got two shapes like this, I can now drag this ellipse inside that rectangle. So grab the layer of the ellipse and drop it exactly above it. Now my ellipse is kind of trapped inside another shape. So that's another way we can do that. While talking about splitting shapes we cannot forget about a proper shape tool so nowadays we got a shape tool so we got overlapping shapes like that you can select both of them then select the shape tool from the list here and you can decide which part do you want to keep create a new shape from the selected area all right, and then I can just click on the area I want to keep. Maybe this one. All right, take a look. I got brand new shape made of this area using the Shape Builder tool, a really powerful tool. All right, but we stray a bit far from the main topic. Main topic today is to how to split shapes. So again, by default, that should be a knife tool. And you can do it pretty well with knife tool but it's all manual if you need a uh, geometry like precisions instead of knife tool you can use another shape so i for example i need exactly this part of this this over the circle now i can select both and i can use intersect to keep only this part so i use another shape to cut down this bottom part you could say i intersect with the top part to keep only that and it's very precise because i can position this shape the another shape 
exactly where I want before I do the action, right? And in other way, we can also use additional shape like that to cut part of it. So I can place it on the area I want to cut out, select both shapes and use the subtract in the similar manner. That's what I really like to do. I like to use other shapes to make new shapes, to split shapes. Okay, and let's do a classic split as well. So in that case, I will be placing this at the center and using subtract. The problem with this one is, even though we got a hole in between, it's still one shape here on the layer panel. That's why the method with the actual shape builder tool will be way better. Because, because in that case, I can use shape builder to create new shapes. Here, this mode, new shape from the selected area. I click on the left, I click on the right, and then I got two new shapes. Take a look on the left and on the right, and that totally brand new shapes that I can now modify separately. All right, so that's how it is. It's knife tool, but not only. There are several different methods in splitting shapes. I hope this was useful. See you in the next video.